Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Marvel Snap video. What am I doing today? Well, recently I had to go into the spotlight caches to attempt to get a uh, wedding variant for Kitty Pride, and I was able to eventually get it. Now, unfortunately, it did end up with me getting a bunch of stuff I didn't want, which was mainly the Spider-Man 2099 variant. So I figured, uh, and it was a very painful experience in general. I don't really like spotlight caches as they are now, but... What all that to say, I figured why not actually try and make a deck. So this is the deck I've made for Spider-Man 2099 that I call uh, 2099 is garbage because that's what he is. He's uh, absolutely a terrible card. He's uh, Shang-Chi but bad. Um, no, that's not even a Shang-Chi but bad would be Shang-Chi, but he targets like t 10 or higher. That's bad Shang-Chi. He's like Gambit but worse yes okay he's like gambit but worse <laughs> he's not very good um the only similarities he has with shang chi is that he is a four drop so if you don't know his effect is that the first time he moves to a location he destroys an enemy card there uh just any of them so the best way to make a move is with iron fist ghost spider and some people will play heimdall but i'm not using heimdall in this one i'm basically going for the um the Silky Smooth package, which is basically Angela, Silk, Captain Marvel, and a bunch of stuff that moves. And then also combining it and replacing a lot of the good cards that you would run in it. Like, um... A lot of the other better cards, like Shang... <laughs> like, um, Shang-Chi, for example. And instead replacing them with 2099 and putting in Ghost Spider and Iron Fist as well. To potentially, um, on turn 5, Spider-Man... Hit them with Spider-Man 2099. Or a sneaky turn 6 if they aren't expecting it with Iron Fist. Because they... Let me tell you right now, they are not expecting it. When you Iron Fist, they are 100% not expecting Spider-Man 2099. So, let's go into it. I could go into Conquest, but I'm currently on a really sick infinite run, so I'm not wasting that with this deck. We're gonna jump into just regular play. Well, let's see how it goes. I really do hope that they buff 2099 in some way. I'm hoping that's in the next patch. I waited to record this video just to see if they would try it for this one, and they didn't. So I figured that it, he needs a full everything change. So let's see what we got so far. Uh, it's not bad. So we'll put down Kitty. Let's see what they're... Oh! Same. Now let's see. <laughs> Are they truly the same? Honestly, putting Jeff there would be pretty nice. Uh, what am I doing turn three, realistically? You know what? I'll keep it like this for now. Yeah, I'll in turn. Funnily enough, Kuhn Luna would be pretty good with um, Spider-Man 2099. Zabu? Are you also running Spider-Man 2099? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so... Yoink. We're putting them all there and hoping that they all land, because they none of them can land in miniature li Miniaturized Lab. Every single one of them is gonna land in Kunlung. At least I think that's how it works anyway. Uh, die, 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 die. Who would be good to put here? Should I put Spider-Man 29 for the random kill? I feel like the answer to that is no. Uh, hmm. Sure. Let's go with that. He must have uh, Darkhawk. That's why I assume when I see Zabu. I actually don't know what you'd be running. Oh no. That would have been so bad. But thankfully it's not bad at all. Do I go for the sneaky 2099 play? I think the answer is no. I have to see where Cosmo ends up going. So I'll go here, go here. Oh, and we'll have a pretty good turn six. I think so anyway. They all should land in Kunlung. And since it's Jeff, I can move him wherever I want. Where are you, what are you gonna play, my guy? If he has Shang-Chi, he's gonna completely destroy me. But it's okay, because Cosmo's gonna land in Kunlung, so he can't Shang-Chi me. I think this is the part where you realize you may have messed up just a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Shadow King on Cosmo. Bold move. 
Yeah, I think he realized it a little bit too late. Ah, uh, Jeff can go anywhere though. That's so funny. Cool. So all this returns to Han. Uh, I think she alone kind of just kills it, so I'm gonna go here just in case. Uh, actually, do I need to move Geo? Now, funny enough, the only thing that Spider-Man 2099 can kill is Miniaturized Lab because I'm going first. So, doink, doink, doink. And I would say that's basically all she wrote. Actually, no. Oh, wait, no. I did the wrong thing. I meant to... There we go. Okay, so... Okay. Yeah, I have to go... 2099 here, Ghost Spider here, Kitty here, and I think that's my best bet of winning. Okay. No one expects the 2099 play! <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious if that's enough to win. Probably wins here, no? Oh. Oh yeah, let's give him. Give it up. That's funny that Jeff didn't land in Kun Lung because he can go anywhere, so he would definitely end up in Miniaturized Lab. That's really funny. Alright, that's eight cubes. Cool for me. I'm, I don't know why he was so confident in that. But, you know, better for me. Let's go! Another one. He definitely wasn't expecting 2099, <laughs> but 2099 didn't really do anything, so... Not sure how much you can give it up for him. Yay! Kitty. Ooh, so there's no point for me to kitty at all then. It's cool. I don't like having priority. I'll just say that right now. Uh, that's kind of annoying because I feel like I'm going to waste... You know what? I'm going to throw out the early Captain Marvel. Ah, oh, it's a Patriot deck. I hate this deck. It's annoying. It's very annoying. Well, this is going to be an uphill battle to actually win now. Because, of course, this deck didn't get any form of nerfs or hits at all. Because who needs to hit it? Right? Um, I think we can set up a 2099 play here. Which is f really funny to say. But do I want to put Iron Fist here? Um, uh, I think I'll put the 2 power here. That's it. So, yeah, he's got an absorbing man. It is not going to be easy to win. Okay, where do I think he's going to play the card? Probably middle? Maybe middle. Honestly, I'm going to play Spider-Man 2099 here because I want to get the extra buff. So, I'll go there. Forge... Patriot. Please 2999 hit. Hit Patriot. Hit Patriot for love of God. No! So sad, bro. So sad. This is why he's so bad. You hate to see it. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. If I do this here, go here. Is it possible for me to win this? I think the answer is no. Mm, am I going last? Okay. I am. So if I go here, go here, go here, there's literally no point in that. Go here and then here. Am I big enough though? Hmm. Let's see. Five. 
five, one, five. Try this here, 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 here. And we'll see. I don't mind giving them two, oh, of course, because they buff Doom. Yeah, great, great choices here, Marvel Snap Devs. You've once again saved the game, the, the day in the game. Mm, actually, I would have won if I hadn't go Spider. <laughs> it's fine though. It's fine. That's the first loss for the sec. But again, you can see right there, 2099 being random completely cost us that game. If he had hit Patriot, we would have won. But he's it was a 1 in 3 chance. So, another reason that they should buff 2099. Every loss is just another further proof that they have heavily underestimated how good this card is. Never have I seen a card just so bad out the gate be released. Soul Stone, that means there's a chance for them to destroy Kitty. That's good for them, though. I'm just gonna not play for Volt, I think. That's fine. Oh no! At least he didn't take a good one. That would have been really shameful if he had taken a good one. Uh... Hmm. We'll go here. My Jeff for sneaky plays. That's fine. Ooh. Okay, go here and then here. See where Spider Man takes us. Ooh, that works. Funny enough, the pig wins right there. Uh, okay, let's go here, 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 here. Let's see. If he attempts, we have to think about this through. If he attempts to hit us with. That'll move it. go here and here. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Of course, now if he moves it, that just locks in Silk. So I think I actually don't want to do that. So I'm going to have to move it here. Put this here. Put this here. And hope for the best. basically a screwed no matter what. Ooh. Okay. That's fine. That's less fine. Uh, let's see. Do I lose this? Potentially I do. It does have to move something, but if there's nothing to move, then there's nothing that they can really do. But at that point, it becomes... They move over there. Captain Marvel moves here. So I guess it kind of depends on what they play here. Hmm. Curious and curious. I could just Captain... Let me see, is this more? Four, six? Yeah, that technically is more. Alright, sure, let's go. Let's see how it goes. They do have to play there, and it has to be more than... Um, has to be their big boy, basically. And then they win. They're just not gonna play anything? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a very dumb... Why? 
Why would you do that? Never mind. Sometimes you just simply win because the fates have decided that you should win. That's a win for another's win for 2099. So if we actually look it up. 2099 is a 4-6 pig. Came in clutch there at the end. Couldn't use his effect at all. So he would have just been a dead stone no matter what I tried to do with him. Perfect. Love that about my characters. Oh, yay. Deep space. <laughs> Victory. Hit him with the thanks. Thanks, brother. I also did not want to play deep space. Funny enough, Patriot effects don't activate there because the effect techs are just disabled. They're not removed. So that's another win for Spider-Man Spider 2099. So that puts 2099 garbage in technically positive cube win rate. Very bad for us. Actually the worst. I don't think I have a single ongoing effect here. So I think I just can't fight for it. I have to pray to God that they don't have something crazy. That's also bad. Legion is one of the dudes I had to remove from this deck. Which is a bummer because Legion is very good. Oh. We just lose. Because this is the stupid... Um, the stupid good deck. So there's no, there's no hope of us winning here. Uh... I could try... You know what? If Craven dies, he dies. I'm already feeling like I should run away from this. Yeah. Okay. He has a run away for now. Oh, but I could Spider-Man... Okay. So... I think I'll do this. Do I want to Iron Fist right now? I couldn't just Iron Fist for the... I want to save it for the final turn. So I'll just go here for now. It's fine. Lead what deck are you playing that runs Wolverine, Nova, Forge, Brood? Now I'm kind of scared, if I'm being honest. Is he about to hit me with like the sickest Galactus possible? I need to activate this. He's gonna Venom eat that, I think. So I think I'm gonna go here, then Iron Fist here, and hope for the best. Yep. Alright, let me just move it out of here. So let's see, if he does decide to null, the null will only be 17. So that's good to keep in mind. Okay. So I think we go here, we go here, then I go here so that Captain Marvel moves to mid. But is that enough to actually win? That definitely beats a null. Seven, two. Can I actually win here? Seven, sixteen. I think the answer is no, I can't. Four, eight. No, I can't. Nope, we out here. Can't win this one. No. Escaped. Getting all those uh, danger rooms with bruise is just too much. Uh, they should revert Forge back to the way he was. I think the game was better when Forge was not played, actually. It's terrible. But that's another loss for 2099. Funny enough, if we had maybe had 2099, we could have potentially beaten the Venom lane. <laughs> but he would have just as likely hit 
the uh, the Wolverine. Okay, Atlantis, huh? That's fine. I didn't have anything to play. Quinjet, another Devil Dinosaur deck. Live from the Daily Bugle. Parker! I was wrong. Pixel Colson, man knows what's up. Put down Hefe. Yeah, Hefe, right down here. Goodbye, Captain Marvel. Didn't need you anyway. Do I want to just start building up? I can. I honestly have to probably start using cards. That's what I figured. Let's just move ham somewhere else. There you go. Nice comfy ham. Ooh. Doom. Doom. Just to trick them. Make them think like, hey, maybe I'm gonna activate something. We have Gwen, so honestly, either 2099 shows up next turn or he doesn't show up. Which card of ours did he get? Because it, it wasn't a great hand. Okay. <laughs> it definitely feels like I have to use something here. Okay. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so we can 2099 the Quinjet. <laughs> that's hilarious. We can actually kill something. Let's go. The Quinjet dies tonight. Not that it matters. Actually, it does matter for curve purposes, but either way, the Quinjet dies. Devil Dino. That's fine. So we just weren't going to fight for Devil Dino anyway. Uh, let's see. Maybe go here. Attempt to win with pure power right there. Hmm. It does kind of open us up to Shang-Chi pretty hard. But let's see if they Shang us. If they Shang-Chi us, then I think... This just wins, doesn't it? Then move Jeff out of the way. This becomes 11, basically. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, okay. If they Shang, then we win here. It wasn't Shang. Bye, Chavez. Hi, Quinjet. And we win with the pig. <laughs> with the pig on board, baby. 2099 wins once again. Funny enough, because of the because of the play with 2099 getting rid of the Quinjet, and he got his entire hand back, that actually did kind of save us. So maybe I should stop talking so much crap on 2099 because he actually legitimately just uh, saved us out right there. I give credit where credit is due. Uh, let's go in for one last one, even though that was a good feel good way of ending it because that was one where 2099 legitimately actually killed something in one. Um, we can go for one more. Megatron, Thanos was right. Even Megatron thinks that? Come on, Megatron. I thought you were cool, man. I never know which one is more power, technically. Is it the Kitty and to then Angela? Or is it Angela then Kitty? I don't know. But I think in this case it might actually be Angela then Kitty. Okay. Ask it then answered, I guess. Oh. This is perfect, actually. I'm gonna fight for the raft. But if this is a brood deck, I've already lost the raft. This is actually much worse. <gasps> Wait a minute. Potential sneaky plays here. Because if I can draw the right card, I can win this. Because all I need <laughs> is uh, Iron Fist or Gwen, please. That works too, funny enough. Uh, I'll go here, then here. 
I don't care if you draw two cards from Asgard. That's cool. That just means that you're more likely to draw your combo piece, and my Spider-Man play completely screws you. Infinite, not using him. X twenty-three. Okay. Oh, this is so annoying. Now because of act the actual you know what? This is the right play. This is the way. Pass. Cause I think this is just a regular discard deck. If this was um if I thought that this was potentially tribunal, I would definitely do something, but I don't think this is tribunal. I think this is just regular discard. Here, then here. Actually, no, we don't want to go there. Okay. Hmm. Am I currently in? I am not. Okay, so. They retreated. <laughs> Either way, it's fine. I was trying to see if I could potentially 2099 kill Morbius, but it, uh, I think it would have required me to Iron Fist first in Asgard. I was also trying to take advantage of the full silk combo as well, so I would have to Iron Fist over here on Asgard, Spider-Man 2099 mid, um, then he would be moved over here technically. And then I would finish off with a kitty on Asgard, I think. And that would have won. But they realized that they were not winning this game. That's hilarious. I can't believe how many games did I end up winning. This is a very small sample size, but... View my stats here at the end. Now that we're done. 75% win rate. <laughs> Six games, one to two. That's fun, and the ones we did lose to were big, well, were, were the good decks, the ones that were using Forge and Brood, because that's a, uh, probably the best combo in the game right now. That's not bad, but I'm also in Infinite, and I just recently learned that Infinite puts you against people who are, like, potentially not in the same level as you, so that might also, that's a big time factor. You can't deny the, <laughs> the ease of the game is also a big factor in some of those wins for sure, but, you know... Maybe 2099 isn't as bad as I thought. He is still feels end up pretty bad. I still feel like every single game that we won, it was not because of him. And the very few games where he did contribute, it was kind of like a tech play. I don't know, it feels weird to have a tech destroy. But at least this deck is kind of fun to use, because it is a variation of an already very good deck, which has now been nerfed. And now you can feel, if you want to feel a little bit less bad about playing a good deck by playing bad cards, then let it know further than, than 2099 is garbage, which features Ghost Spider, Iron Fist, Kitty, which features Ghost Spider, Iron Fist, and 2099 instead of uh, the other cards in it, which are Legion typically. I mean, I have the other card. I have the better deck here. Where is it? I think I call it um, the first good move deck. Yeah, there you go. This one has Kitty, Angela, Craven, Jeff, Silk, Spider-Man, Shang-Chi, Vision, Legion. So you remove Vision, Legion, and um, Shang-Chi for the 2099 package, which is Iron Fist, um, 2099, and Gwen. So there you go. That's the end of the video, everyone, though. Thank you very much for watching. If you did watch all of it, feel free to tell me what you feel about 2099. Because maybe, maybe he's not as bad as I think he is. But I still kind of think he's very bad. But, you know, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, peace out.